the earth, but it's going to be an even more fantastic one leaving the moon here and heading back to the good old earth. Over. Roger that, Tom. I got the hole of the Smith V. Right, right. Crazy. Okay, the way you see it right now is all about the F yeah, 50, about probably 55 on the zoom. That's about the way we're seeing it now, maybe a little more. Roger, understand. Tom, uh, we got confirmation on your burn. It looks like we'll have about one foot per second at uh, your first MCC at 15 hours. Uh, Roger, I think we can afford about one foot per second. That is bad. Can't hardly beat that. Yeah, well, the old guy system has done great work for us on this mission. Roger that. That's a real interesting picture that you're showing us there now, too. And also, for the first time, we've seen what we call it, I guess he determined a gigantic turtleback crater that's fractured. We'll put the zoom on that in just a minute. Roger. That's a real interesting crater here on my right, uh, Joe. It's, a, it's an enormous thing, and it's, uh, it's fractured almost uh, symmetrically in a number of, number of pie-shaped pieces. I'll see if I can get it for you in a minute. Okay, we're standing by. In fact, looking straight ahead, just now coming into view, even though we're really starting to climb out from it. In fact, I can finally see the whole moon right in the hatch window. But we're looking down the road, there's Messier A and B, the Teradius twins. Uh, we have Sensorinus there for Jack. And on up ahead, I can see landing site one. He was this distance from the landmarks we let in. Over. Roger, I understand. That's real good to know. Well, you can't believe this way to climb. It looks like we're going out just vertical. Just beautiful. Scare the heck out of you to come in at this angle. Maybe it's just as good we came in dark and didn't see the thing, Homer. Right, <laughs> I understand. Yeah, uh, hey, Joe, uh, that's the crater I was talking about. I don't know how that is, but uh, I can see a little bit of it in my monitor. It's coming in real good, Gene. It's it looks like you're just crater. about to crowd the top part of the window there, but we've got the whole crater, and uh, yeah, we can see those fractures in there. It looks like the outer rim has slumped down. You have some mario material near the edges, and the whole thing is fractured there in the middle with a couple of impacts there. Roger, we can make that out. Okay, down in the central part here, it's still a tan color. But as we move further away, it's starting to get a little more white, and the mario area is turning to a, a light white brown, a whitish brown, over. Roger, I understand. It looks like the real moon. Roger, the, uh, the crater that you it's were... It's never around or two, isn't it? Go ahead, Joe. Uh, Rod, Gene, I was just going to say that crater you were showing us, your fractured crater there, it looked like there was a dark patch in the, uh, in the, on the left-hand side. I wonder if that, uh, was just something that showed up on the tube or if you observed that up there. In the upper left-hand corner there now. That is a, it looks like Mario material. That's right, that's Mario material in that crater, Joe. Over. Right, that's real interesting. Just wait till about another 30 minutes, then you'll be able to see the whole thing there. Over. That ain't 
just did it again, boy. What a prince. Does it look a little rounder? Right. It's looking real round now. If, uh, why don't you guys get half a chance, uh, if you could give us accept on the computer, we'll shoot you up a new load. That's, uh, good. We're through and accept. You got it. Roger, thank you. Man, it really looks like you guys are climbing out of there. Uh, you better believe we're climbing out, just like we're in a vertical climb going straight out to the center. It's a fantastic sight. Also, the recollection is looking here, you know, it's a beautiful beach, but where's the ocean over? Right. Okay, I've got the camera back in the um, central window again. Joe, this is incredible. That thing is getting rounder and rounder and rounder and smaller all the time. <laughs> they don't understand. The real show is on the inside here. It's like three monkeys in a spring pod. Yeah, I'll bet that's right. Okay, and what you see out there is real close to what, what we have. Maybe the curvature is a little more. Now, one thing really is you see the two dark spots there in the center of your screen, the volume of material? Well, I've got them. Okay, now to us, and all three of us are correlating this, that is a light brown color. And surrounding it, you have the highland areas there, which is a tan color, and you can see that one impact spray crater up there, that's a white jockey color. And again, it looks just like the material of gypsum, I'd say. Over. Right, we're getting the same colors as you're describing, Tom. That's It's just great. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, I've got a, another crater over here. I'll zoom in on this to the right of it. One Mario, and you can see it. It's real bright with rays coming out of it. And I'll zoom on it. Right there. Okay, Tim, this is Houston. Uh, you can go back to block on the computer. It's yours, and the fuel cells are looking real good, and you uh, might be interested to know you're coming in real great uh, all the way across Australia. Well, people in Australia, the crew of Apollo 10 would like to say good morning. We've uh, seen your country many times on our way up to the moon, and we'll see it many times on the way back. It looks very beautiful from even 210,000 miles out. Over. That Tommy is a charmer. I should say. Hey, Joe, the moon is, is almost small enough now where I can see the whole thing from the top one corner of my uh, forward window to the other corner of my forward window. Yeah, I understand. And I can see the whole boat from top to bottom in my forward window. Roger, understand, Gene. Looks like the old camera's doing a pretty good job here of zooming in and out and picking up on. <laughs> Boy, you guys are really hauling the mail out of there. Oh, you better believe it. It's like we're climbing straight out, Joe. It's a fantastic sight, just like we were shot straight out from the center of the moon. Is that what you call it, Joe? That's what we call it tonight. Uh, you're going about 6,000 feet a second. Okay, 
were picking up now more of the Mario the trail, and again, even from this distance, still to keep recording going, it, it is a brown in the Mario area, surrounding area is a light tan. In fact, I've got one little crater I'm going to try to zoom on. You see the Mario area that's on the left side of your screen now? Roger, got it. Okay, up in there is a little, another small boy area and a round uh, spray crater. I'm going to see if we can see one that spray crater there. Roger, okay. okay. <laughs> Joe, that fractured crater that had the dark material up in the left side, it's also about the one fourth of the uh, bottom right hand side. Uh, you're not looking at it now, but bot bottom fourth one, uh, right hand side is all full of. That very darkest dark gray material also. Roger, copy, team. In fact, right now, all the people, all the people watching TV are an advantage because what you're seeing in your screen is a bigger image than what we see. And right there, you see that little white crater that I put down there about the center of the screen? Roger, we got it. The white jockey material surrounding it. You have some pad, and then you have the basic wire over here on the right, and that is brown. Over. Roger. Thank you, Tom. That's uh, Mari over on the lower right. You say that, that's dark brown or is that black? No, no, the Mari here that's just right in the middle of the screen now, Joe, that is a brownish color. We estimate a light brownish color with slight streaks of tan over to the, that are from the ray crater. This one's coming up right here. I'll put the zoom on. See that, Rascal? Roger, we got it. Okay, the crater that you have now, the inside of that is chalky color. The rays coming out are light tan. A darker tan surrounds it. Then you move into the area, which is a brown color. Over. Okay, we got all that description. Boy, that little crater with its rays uh, sure stands out nice. Right, and you can see down into it, and the sides are just a chalky white color. The bottom is, is a tan, like we've seen before. Surrounding is a white tan. With the rays lighter, but going over to the bar, and you can see the rays in the bar of the trail there. A light tan over a brown. Over. Roger, we understand. Hey, Joe, down at, down at nine miles, that'd be exciting, but this has got to be unbelievable. The, wind, the moon now is uh, well within the boundaries of my uh, forward uh, rendezvous window. And uh, now that we show you that crater, uh, just one thing I want to check. Does our description of the color match with your picture down there? Over. Right, it's coming up pretty good, uh, Tom. The area, the Mari area that you described as brown, looks uh, a very dark brown here, almost black, a real dark brown, and uh, evidently that's a little lighter to you than it shows up on the screen. Yeah. Okay. What about the tan? That's someone about the same. Over. Roger. That, that's looking real good. In fact, uh, Tom, I'm at a little disadvantage. I'm looking at the big screen up here on the board, and they say on the monitor in the back of the room there the colors are exactly as you're describing them. Okay, well, I passed my eye test, I guess, the last time before one of the, the uh, T-minus uh, four-day physical, so I guess they haven't gone too bad. Here's an interesting crater right here. It looks like how a lot of them are formed after you have a big crater, then you have slumping in the walls. Here you can see a series of ridges where the walls have slumped down in. And I'll zoom in a little bit over. Right. Okay, the whole view now is getting so fantastic. I'm going to go out to the wide angle to show you what we're seeing. I can see the whole moon right out the hatch window. Roger. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, well, there it is. See what I might mean about size, Joe? It uh, just about fills up uh, round-wise right smack in a uh, hatch window. Boy, and is this a full moon, I'll tell you. Uh, you're just about 1,400 miles out now. Uh, it's uh, Roger, 1,400 miles out from the moon, and the view is actually just incredible, like Gene has described. <laughs> we're, we're all just laughing up here, just looking at it. But it's, and we're, again, 
we've said before, it's a good thing we came in backwards at night time where we couldn't see it because if we come in from this angle, we'd really have to shut your eyes, over. Right, I understand. Uh, Tom, how about going to the other position on ALC and let's see how it looks. There's the other position. Joe, we've been shooting this whole thing at F-22. Roger, right, I understand. Okay, that's good, Tom. Going back. Let's see, I met we're you going, on... We're going back to... We're outside now, Joe. How's that? That's where we were. We just went inside for a while and came back. Roger, that's a lot better. Stay on the outside. And again, uh, the, the whole area looks, that area material is brownish, and uh, still the, the color hasn't changed much. It's brown and tan with white, so we're... Gee, Joe, with a mid-course of a foot a second, we must be in that car here. That's pretty close. Boy, that's an absolutely incredible uh, target down there. Congratulations. You almost uh, begin to start smiling, can't you? Yeah. I bet Phil Schaefer has a smile across his face and he's around, over. Yeah, he's in the room down the hall. I'm, I'm well, sure I'm he's going to have one on me. Roger, will do. How come all you people are up? How come all you people are up this early in the morning? That's normal working hours, Gino. All right, try to pick out a couple more interesting uh, characteristics. Again, you can see that one spray crater um, uh, up to the side. Actually, here's a better view. I can see the landing site coming in now. And uh, we'll go down and take a look at Messier, Messier B, the Tyronius twins. We can see it from here. We'll put the zoom to them. You can walk right up the landing site, uh, just like we did when we were down there. You can see Secchi, uh, you can see uh, the Apollo Ridge. You can see all those little ridges uh, reflected very well in sunlight. You can't quite see our Sidewinder Diamondback Ridge at this time, however. Okay, we understand. Yeah, that little crater that you're bringing in to focus, uh, bring in to zoom like now it. with the rays, that's a real interesting little feature, isn't it? Yeah, would you ask Jack Schmidt to please uh, ask him what the name of that crater is just for identification? I think we may have seen that before, over. That is the Serena's name. I think, uh, I think you got a got you on Jack Schmidt. He's a... Uh, Grimacing and his head is furrowing now, but we'll have a name for you here in a minute. Jack says that the uh, name of that one is Temporarily Tom's Crater. That sounds good. Okay, and, and right ahead, from the bright craters you walk on across, there, uh, you can see Mokey. There's Mokey, and right up in there, if anybody from Oklahoma's listening, that's what we term the Oklahoma Hills, is on the right. Over. Roger, we got those, Tom. This camera's got such good resolution, I think I can even zoom on both you from here. Okay, we'll stand by. Do you see the bright crater in the center of the screen there? Roger, we got it. 
That is bulky. The landing site one is right to the to your left there, at least this is my monitor. And so here we can see landing site one. In fact, we can even see crater 130 in this too. And all the white area, or probably be the tan area, it's, it's white, white, black. It's white, black, and white too, but it's brown and tan out there. As you look there, that's what we call the Oklahoma Hills. Over. Roger, Tom. We got it. Looks great. <laughs> That's too bad that y'all don't have color TV up there. This is a great view. Yeah, okay. <laughs> now I'm going to zoom back again. That volume material is really looking a deeper brown now. Roger, okay. Hey, Joe, we're starting to see the Terminator come in, I believe. We're starting to see the Terminator come in on the far side, which is really getting to be interesting. And oh. I might say we're a little thankful for it, too. <laughs> Roger, I understand. We're going to show you a picture of, of the far side of the Terminator in just uh, a few minutes. Pick it up now, and uh, we're picking up the rays, Tom. Okay, as you look at that crater, again, the bottom floor of it is tan. You can see some slumping on the walls. The sides are chalky white. The rays going out are light tan. The area surrounding it is a darker tan. And then you move over to the barrier area, which is a, a darker brown up here. But the crater is really a beautiful crater. It stands out with all those rays on it. And down below, you can see the remains of an old crater that's filled with the volume material. I'll try to put it right in the center of your 
screen and it is right at the edge where the Mario starts. Can you see it over? Roger, we got it. And it looks like there's another one on over to the left and down a little bit. Another old crater with some Mario in the middle. Or that may be Shadow. Sure is, right there. What color did you feel that was, Tom? Say again, over. What color did you say that was? Uh, our, our guide, Foster. Uh, Roger, that was Phil Shavers talking. Just tell him that he's got a bottle of champagne to him for that vector, over. That uh, was Deke. He was wondering to uh, verify the color of that uh, Maria. Okay, I know what he's talking about, but I'll, we'll talk about that later. Over. He's got one coming for not passing up any pads while we were gone from John. Hey, I bet we fooled all the new people. Right. Okay, Houston, I've got an interesting sight. In fact, we've never seen... Houston, uh, take a look at this. We've never seen this before. The very colors. Did you see the two Mari areas on the left? Right, you got it. Now, the one, yeah. the, the one right... They're different shades. The one right in the center is a, a, is a darker brown, and the one over to the left, you can see where they flow, and they, they flow together there, it is a lighter brown uh, tending to a tan. And I'll put the zoom on it and hope you can get it. Here it is. We've never seen this before ourselves. Okay, it's uh, it's showing up pretty good uh, right now, the way you're describing. There you go. That looks great. That's like a couple of different uh, flows there. Right now, right in the center of your screen, you should see the discontinuity between the two of our areas. The one on the right is a, a darker brown, tending, it's nearly a chocolate brown now, and the one on the left is a tan. Over. Roger. That's uh, just how they're coming in down here, Tom. All right, great. And if you look over the distance, you can see the, the uh, nighttime coming on the moon up there, the Terminator, and you do only get some outstanding features there. Roger, but we got that. The first time we've been able to look at this distance and see a real, a real uh, discernible difference in the Mario materials, but this is really kind of a classic, I think, there. You can see the flows. And also, if you take a look, I'll try to zoom some more on the Mario on the left. You can see some of the darker material near the upper edge of that where it's flowing in there. Okay, that's a, that's a picture we have now. You can see we're probably going our way out close to 3,000 miles now. It's still a beautiful view. In fact, just looking at it, you recollect that we've come a long ways in a few years. You can just imagine where we're going to go in a few more years, over. Roger that, Tom. I just want to check the resolution of this camera and zoom in on Sensoritas and the landing site where Apollo 11 will land, and I'll go back and zoom in on that again. Over. Roger. Okay, there's Sensoritas. Over here is the crater Mulkey, a part of masculine, masculine B. We come down here to a little bright crater there. It's right near the tip of the Oklahoma foothills there. It's called Moki, and to the left, right in this area, is the landing site for Apollo 11 should land, over. Okay, we got them all, Tom. They're coming through real good. Boy, right now it's like watching it through a telescope. That's fantastic. And right in the center of your screen is the landing site, and again, you can see the hills on the other side down in this area. But the approach is very well marked by Sensorinus there on one side and then lead in there from the two masculine craters, over. Roger.
We're getting real good resolution down here, Tom. Okay. I guess we've been up nearly 24 hours now, but the view is so great, I don't think we're going to go to sleep for a few more hours. Over. <laughs> okay, you understand, Tom. Just looking at this is about the best go feel you could ever stand. Over. Roger. Okay, copy. 